Uh, we're building a pre-K through two. Um, we, we're going to move our uh, those classes from our current uh, elementary school to our new elementary school. We're just out of space, and so we were we were going to put it on one side of the road. And 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 again, with ICM's help and with our architects' help, we realized that um, we were going to be annexed by the city. That what what the city's requirements were were going to be on the road. We were going to spend about three million dollars on just a road. Uh, well. $3 million was going to take a lot of classroom space away from us. So through ICM's knowledge of, of just how much the, the cost of this was all going to be and, and again, what the, the requirements were with the city of Oxford, it, it helped us to know, okay, we, we've got to shift gears uh, and, and put this building on the other side of the road um, to where the, the cost for just the infrastructure cost uh, of, of the road would not be as great and so we could afford more classroom space. So here again, that's just an, uh, another way, you know, the savings uh, that uh, that ICM helped us uh, by not having to spend that. And again, just their work on, on getting other bidders to come in and say, you know, and, and, and to, uh, to put a bid in on that is, is again, I know I've used this term uh, several times, but it was invaluable to us. And, and again, just the cost savings was, was so helpful to us. And we, we are very happy with, with, uh, with ICM and what they've done. And, you know, every Friday, um, one of the, the employees for, for ICM, they send us a Friday update, let us know exactly what's going on via pictures, uh, you know, and, um, and, and written text about where we are. Of course, I'm there all the time going over there and seeing, but just having that each Friday knowing, all right, we've made this much progress this week. Again, the pictures of seeing those walls starting, you know, starting to go up and, and just, but just knowing where we are each Friday, knowing that, that uh, even though we've had all this rain this summer, which has been an unusual summer with rain, uh, we're still on we're still on go we're still where we need to be uh, all this rain has, has hurt us but it hadn't um, it hadn't hindered us from doing what we need to do and, and so ICM was was at every uh, meeting that we had with the public they were there again helping us plan helping us answer any questions about money about how much this was going to cost what we felt like this was going to cost so they, they were they were again, intertwined with our architects, ourselves, and, and, and once we hired them, again, they were there every step of the way with all these meetings explaining um, this, is, this is the process, this is what it's going to take, this is what we can afford to build, and, and here's where we are. The, these are the consequences if, if we don't. And again, we had all those answers, but, but when you've got um, when it's somebody besides just the superintendent there saying this is what we need and, and you've got outsiders um, and when I say outsiders even though we had employed ICM they were still an outsider saying this is not a want this is a need that the district has got to have otherwise you're going to have portable classrooms all over this campus and so uh, again it, the, their input uh, and what they did was invaluable to us. ICM is extremely valuable uh, to us and, and would be to any district.